Hey there, we're actually doing a giveaway right now using this pattern. So if you want to enter to win a free 30 day membership to Club Crochet, click the link on the screen now in the description below or by going to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway to learn the rules for how to enter to win. You have till the end of the month to enter. All right, happy hooking. To download a free printable PDF version of this pattern, click the link on the screen now in the description below or by going to clubcrochet.com slash acorn. Hey, how's it going? I'm Louie, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a little tiny acorn, uh, kind of like an amigurumi acorn. I should make one with eyes and a mouth or something. Uh, I also made this using very tiny thread to make a little itsy bitsy one that I think I'm going to use for earrings or um, a necklace or something for my girlfriend. All right, so for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. Because uh, I want to actually show you how to crochet this and it's difficult to show you using this thread, I'm using all worsted weight yarn in colors brown and dark brown. Because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, boop, I'm using a size G 4 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need a darning needle to sew in the ends and to sew the top onto the bottom. Uh, I like using a little crimped end like this, it makes it a little bit easier. You also need a pair of scissors, um, some stuffing, and uh, yeah. Well, without further ado, let's get hooking. Okay, so first we're going to be making the bottom of the acorn. So you want to start by cutting a decent amount. Uh, I guess like that's probably actually good enough. So not too much of an extra thread of your brown yarn. We'll put that to the side. We'll come back to that. We're going to use it to um, make a little tip on the end of the acorn. Okay. So with your brown yarn, we're going to do the magic loop method. You can also start with the chain two method if you feel more comfortable with that. And we're going to do, there we go. All right. For round one of the bottom of the acorn, we're going to single crochet six times into the second chain from the hook or into the magic loop. Three, four, five, and six. All right, and then we're just going to tighten. Oh, wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there we go. Six. That's why you should count before you close this up. All right, so now we can close this guy up. Okay. Now for round two, we're going to be working in the round, meaning that we won't turn around actually for this entire pattern. So... Um, we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to start in this first single crochet that we made right here. And for round two, we're going to be doing a single crochet into the first stitch. There we go. We just did that. And then an increase into the next stitch right here. And I'm working around this tail end just to hide it in. Okay. Single crochet and then increase. We're going to repeat that three times total. So let's do that again. We did our single crochet and then increase. Let's do it again. We're doing a single crochet and then an increase, meaning two single crochets into the next stitch. There's our second repeat. And here's going to be our third. This is going to bring you up from six stitches to nine stitches around. Oops, lost the loop there. OK, that's going to be the end of round two. For round three, we're going to be doing an, a single crochet into the first two stitches. So we got one, two, and then an increase into the next stitch. Three and a four. And we're going to repeat that six, uh, three times total. So we're doing two single crochets and then an increase three times total. So let's do it again. Single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase. Okay, we need one more repeat of that. And this is going to bring you up from nine stitches to 12 stitches around. So we got one, two, and then our increase. Okay, so now you should have 12 stitches around. I'm just going to cut this tail end to get it out of the way. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay. For the next three rounds, that's rounds four, five, and six, three rounds total, 
you want to do a single crochet into each stitch around. There should be 12 stitches per round. So just do a single, cro single crochet all the way around for three rounds in a row. Okay, so that's going to be the last stitch. Now, uh, to finish this up, um, we have just finished round six. To finish up the main part of this uh, bottom of the acorn, we're going to do a slip stitch into this last stitch right here. And just do a slip stitch there. We're going to cut the yarn. You don't need too long of an end, just enough to hide it in. And we just pull that all the way through. I'm going to take our needle and I'm just going to hide the end in really quick just to get it out of the way. To hide the end in, we're going to go into the back of the next stitch right here. Okay. And then down through the top of the last slip stitch. So here's the last slip stitch. We're going to go down through these two loops and then out through and hide it in a couple of stitches on the body. See, so there you go. I'm just hiding it in to just a couple stitches. You don't really need to hide it too much. This is all going to be covered by the top of the acorn anyhow. We can cut the end pretty close. I'm not too worried about it coming unraveled. Now, the last thing you want to do for the bottom of this acorn is we want to make a tip on the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that extra thread that we cut off in the beginning. Um, you didn't. I guess you could have cut off after you stitched it together like this, though, as well. You know, thread on a, on a needle, and we're going to exit from one side of the center. See, so I'm not coming straight through the center, but through uh, a stitch to the side of it. And we're going to do what's called a bullion knot. So to do a bullion knot, we're going to take our needle and go around from when where you came out of the piece. We're going to wrap this needle around it three times. One, two, and three. Okay? You want to keep that end pulled up away from the piece. Now you want to take the needle and go back into the piece from across from the center. Okay, so across to the other side. Let's go up like right here. Okay. We're going to pull this needle almost all the way through. So just the end is there. And we're going to make sure that each of these two ends are tightened. So here's the end of the one side. And here's the, I'm pulling from the inside of the piece as well. I'm just pulling that so that knot stays really tight. I'm going to pinch the knot and I'm going to pull the needle through. And just, I'm just pulling that yarn all the way through. Now I can pull the needle out a little bit so I can shape this knot to be better formed. We're just going to pull it a little bit tighter. You don't want to pull it too tight because then it just kind of becomes this weird like kind of strange knot. So I like to just pull it out and kind of just shape it into a little ball. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Now I'm going to take these two ends and pull it close in. You can see that kind of makes a little little nub on the end there. We can take these two ends and we'll just double knot it on the inside. You can double knot it relatively tight. Again, you probably don't need to t double knot it too tight because um, I don't think it's going to go anywhere unless you're really trying to pull it off. Okay. There we go. And you can see we got that little nubbed end there. Just to really sell that it's the bottom of an acorn. Now we can cut these two ends. And we'll put this uh, bottom part to the side and we'll make the top. For the top, I'll be using a darker brown yarn. We're gonna start by making the stem actually. So for the stem, we're going to take our dark brown yarn, you can use any color of course, and we'll make a slip knot. And we're going to start by chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. There's our five chains. Now we're going to go work into the back of these chains. So we're going to turn this chain around so we can see these little spinal um, like back loops there. You can see them. And we're going to take our crochet hook, we're going to skip the first one and go into the second stitch right here, that second back loop, and we're going to do a slip stitch into that back loop. So we're going to yarn over and pull that through and pull that loop through the loop on the hook like that to make a slip stitch. Okay? 
and we're going to continue doing slip stitches in the next three stitches. So we're doing a slip stitch four times in a row. So here's the next back loop. Do a slip stitch, another back loop, another slip stitch, and here's the last back loop right here, and our last slip stitch. There you go. And you can see it makes kind of a natural curve as you go. All right, so we're going to cut the yarn. And we'll just chain one with this end and pull it all the way through. We're going to sew this onto the top of our uh, acorn. So for the top, we're going to uh, make a magic loop again. You can Again, you can use the um, chain two method if you feel more comfortable with it. Sometimes it's hard to get that magic loop off the finger. <laughs> All right, and we're going to start uh, just like the bottom of our acorn. We're going to do six single crochets into the magic loop or into the second chain from the hook if you're working with the chain two method. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, I'm going to pull this a little tighter. Okay, for round two, we're going to be working into the first stitch that we made. So we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six right here. Get your crochet hook in there. And we're going to work around this tail end just to lock it in. For round two, we're doing an increase into each stitch around. So we're doing two single crochets in each stitch around. So there's our first one and our second one. Okay, increase one. We're doing six of these. So Here's our second increase. And this is going to bring you up from six stitches around to 12 stitches around because we're doing an increase into each stitch. There's our third increase. Now I'm going to pull this tail away from the um, our piece. We're going to use this to make sure that uh, it's sewn onto the, to the bottom in the correct way. And like I said, you should have 12 stitches around by the end of this round. Really quick as we're going, um, if you like this video, please like it down below uh, on YouTube and share it uh, with uh, someone that you think would also enjoy this pattern. It really helps out the channel um, and keeps me uh, rocking and rolling making these videos. Okay, so for round three, we are going to um, be doing a single crochet. We're going to uh, still be working in the round. We're going to single crochet into the first three stitches, so one two, gotta pick that cat fur out of there, there we go, three, and we're going to do an increase into the next stitch, so three single crochets and then an increase, and you want to repeat this three times total, so there's our first repeat, let's do our second, we do three single crochets, one, two, three, and then an increase. And this is going to bring you up from 12 stitches around to 15. So let's do one more of those repeats. Three single crochets. One, two, three, and an increase. Okay. That's going to be the end of round three. Now to finish this up, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch right here. And you can do a hidden end if you'd like. Uh, we want to cut, we want to pull a decent amount because we're going to sew this onto the top or onto the bottom of our acorn. And we're just going to pull that all the way through. And like I said, you can do a, mag or a hidden end here. So uh, if you want, let's go ahead and do that just so you can see. I'm going to thread it on the needle. And we're going to go around the uh, back side of the next stitch. I did this on the bottom of the acorn as well. So around the back end, and then back through the top of our slip stitch right here. Okay, so that one went around the back end, up, and down through this top. And we're just going to hide it in just a little bit because we're going to use this end for sewing it on anyhow. And don't pull it too tight or it'll mess up that, mat uh, that hidden end. Okay, now before we sew this on, we need to add the top of our acorn. So here's how I do that. We're going to take um, the outside curve end right here and thread that on a needle. 
okay? And we're going to take this and place it right in the center of our stitch there. And you want to pull it tight enough so that that little knot pops through the back. Then we're going to thread the other side of the top of the stem and just pull it through a stitch that's directly um, adjacent to that um, that center. Okay, and the same thing, you want to pull it enough so that that knot pops on through. And we're going to take these two ends and we can just double knot them on the inside. One. And two. Okay. And we can just cut that end. You want it pretty short. Okay. Now, to sew this on to the top, here you can see how we have the little thing there. To sew this top onto the bottom, okay, there's can be there's a tricky way to do this. First, we're gonna thread um that inside end. Remember that the tail end that we crocheted around? You want to uh, thread that onto a needle. And we're just going to take this and go ahead and go through pretty much the bottom. Like you don't want to go straight through the center because we have that nub there. So just go through an adjacent stitch like right there. And this is going to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to while we're sewing it together. Now we're going to thread this other end. And we're going to sew this top onto the bottom. But this here, the, here's the trick. There's more of stitches uh, on the top than there is on the bottom. So we have to do some fancy maneuvering to make up for some stitches. We're going to start by coming out through the back right where the hidden end is. It's kind of hard to tell, but here's the hidden end. And here's an important thing. We're actually going through the stitches one below. So here's the last round of single crochets for the bottom. It's right there. We're going to actually go through those stitches below it, not the top ones. Okay, so we're going to start by threading through that bottom right there. And we're going to go through the hidden end of our top of our acorn, just through the top of it like that. And this part is where I like to hold it upside down like this. And we're going to go back through where we came out and then out through the next stitch over. And you can see now what I mean about going through um, the round right before the end. Okay. Okay, so just like that. And we're going to continue doing that all the way around. But when you come to an increasing uh, stitch on the top, we're going to work twice. So I'll, I'll, we'll see. You'll see what that means when we get to there. So let's just keep going across. Here's our next stitch on the top of the acorn. We're going to go through the top and then back through the same stitch we came out of, then out through the next stitch over. And just pull it all through that. Top bottom, same stitch, come out through the next one. Now we're at an increasing stitch on the top. You can tell because if you look right there, you can see those two V's are in the exact same spot. Okay, so we want to work both of these into that this same exact stitch. So we're going to start by going through the top, then that down through the bottom. And we're actually come, going to come out through the next stitch right there, just like you were normally doing. And then we're going to go back down through the next stitch on the top, but we're going to come back down through the, the previous spot. So see how I'm going back through where we came down originally? So I kind of went, I'm repeating the same process, and then come back out through the same place. I'll show you again in just a second. We'll get to another increase in just a second. Okay, so down through the next stitch, same spot, and then next spot. Okay, next stitch, same spot, next spot. And this is kind of fun. You could you could uh, leave this unstuffed also and just hide little notes in there. When I was in high school, I used to do that with everything that I made. I would hide notes in them. Okay, all right, so here's our next increase. Again, you can see these two single crochets in the same spot. Here's not an increase. There's one single crochet, two in this one. You can see both these V's right here. We're going to go down through this next stitch, and we're going to do like we normally were, down and then out through the next spot. 
But this next one right here, we're going to go down through the previous spot right there and then out through the next spot again. Okay. If you have any questions about that, um, let me know in the comments. I'll try to clarify uh, if you'd like. Okay, so now before I continue on uh, sewing this on anymore, let's go ahead and stuff this a little bit because it's going to be more and more difficult to stuff it as we go further along. I like this crochet hook because it has this little rubber end. It helps me stuff it in. You don't obviously need too much stuffing. That's probably enough. Okay. You just want to stuff it in a little bit. You don't want to overstuff it. You don't want the stuffing to like show through. Just enough like that. You could also stuff it with like catnip or something if you want to make it a toy. But this acorn's looking uh, pretty good actually. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. Okay, so see what I did here is I pull it tight so I know what the last stitch I went into was. Here's the last stitch I went into. And if I pull tight, you can see it getting pulled away. So that means that this is the next stitch to go down through. Okay. And here we have our final increase. And as you can see, we're a little further down from the last one. So what we want to do is we want to go down, we want to come up instead of across. We want to come up to match uh, even with the last bit. Okay, and here's our last increase. So I'm going to do the same thing again. We're going to go down and then back up because it was an increase and we had to make up for a stitch. Okay, and this is our final one. We go down through. And to finish this up, I'm just going to go straight down through the same spot. And I'm going to come out through where we pulled that top end right here. Okay. Tweak it a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right. Now I'm going to take these two ends here, and I'm just going to double knot them. Cut the end relatively close, like right there, and then take the back of our needle and just stuff that end back in like that. All right. Okay. And that's how to crochet an acorn. If you like this video, please uh, um, like it down below, share it in uh, any crochet groups that you kind of like or with any friends that you um, think would enjoy this video. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Pasta La Pizza. You can check out more similar videos around here. And happy hooking. Bye.